Thank you for joining us here today. We'll be taking some questions now. That's all we have time for today, thank you. been a very successful group stage so far and that top spot is within sight but no game is ever easy join us for all the action next on ea tv Good evening to you and a warm welcome to the part of West London where the Kings Road and Fulham Road meet, Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League group stage fair on the menu. It is Chelsea and they take on Milan. Well, it's so important they try to clinch that top spot, Derek. It could just give them an easier tie in the knockout stages. These fans will certainly be demanding it. Chelsea. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4-4-2. 
and it can still be a very good system but it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations let's hope they play it well today And they get the ball rolling in this Champions League group stage confrontation. Franco Baresi. Pulic has it. Ronaldinho could cross it in here. Rijkaard able to skip past his man. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. Elects to go short. And Cole coming away with the ball. And Baston to take the lead. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, here's the good news for the home fans. Their favourites are already through to the knockout stages, but they have the chance to secure a top spot in the group here, Stuart. Well, they've been really good up till now. Just need to keep their focus today, and they'll go through as group winners. Essien. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, opting for the short corner. In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. This to open the scoring here. A goal! Calmly taken spot kick. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. the ball moving again what sort of response will we see from them now Cafu and it's with Baresi Frank Reichard 
Well, many people have made this fellow the focus of attention ahead of today's match. Really, we've all been speculating. Would he play? This could level it. Not out of the woods yet. And holding on to it at the second time of asking. Claude Makalele. Here's Essien. Makalele. Ricardo Carvalho. Conte now. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. Well, they keep the ball moving. Makalele! Well, it wasn't all that far off the target. Well, you're absolutely right. That was close, but the game is still very much in the balance here. On to Cole. It's with Makalele. Might be a chance here. Essien putting his body on the line. So nearing the break, Chelsea hold the edge. Stuart, how about your assessment of what you've seen from them in the first 45? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. N'Golo Conte. Now with Carvalho. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Zola. Makelele and a fine stop it's a short corner and a goal they've increased their lead and they don't want to be throwing it away from here Well, here's another look at it. Certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. And totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Cole. And there goes the whistle for half time. And if results remain as they are now, they will be guaranteed top spot in the group, Stuart. Yeah, they've taken this group by the scruff of the neck, haven't they? Another good 45 minutes, and they'll have this all wrapped up. Well, off and running again, and it was a sublime performance by Chelsea in the first half. Let's see how the second half plays out. Cole. On to Makalele. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Chelsea facing Aston Villa. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Could cross it in here. And the cross not quite accurate enough. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Here low. Now with Van Basten. Rod it! Well, goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. 
Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Yes, it might be on for them once more. He's got to score! A goal! They're absolutely racing away with this! Three to the good now! Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. Well, the action continues and Chelsea are accelerating away from their opponents it seems and a tidy ball might be able to get in behind the defence Ronaldinho and back with Cafu really good block so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture Playing it in, not the best clearance. Now that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. Not giving him a moment's peace. Well, not the greatest pass, easily intercepted. And into the last 20 minutes. Kaká. He's in with a chance. And how about that for a save? Pressing high, and they have the ball again. And Eto. And Zola on the ball. Claude Makalele. Zola. Zola. Here's Essien. Shevchenko. Opportunity it is. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So they restart the game, and only one team in it. Pirlo. Just ten minutes remaining here. The delivery towards the back post. On a time for composure on the ball. Balak. Losing possession a bit easily. Oh, nice ball. And the cross goes in. Oh, a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. Michael Balak. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Both substitutes who've been getting ready will come on at the same time. Can he find the right pass? 
Shevchenko. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Goals in plentiful supply, 4-1 currently. There goes the final whistle, and it doesn't get much better than this for them, Stuart, in the group stage. Top spot is theirs. Well, over the course of this group, they've been the best team. They've played some attractive football, they've worked hard to win the ball back, and they deserve to be top dogs. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stewart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.
Unrelenting rain, the weather theme here in West London. We're at Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Ross. Unrelenting rain, the weather theme here in West London. We're at Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Chelsea up against Aston Villa. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully, we're not disappointed. Makaleli. Very comfortable when in possession. And thwarted there following the cross. Chelsea will get the throw in. And a chance to whip it in here. Carlos Alberto. Well, the hosts will be determined to claim all three points and they know if results go their way, they could end the day at the summit, Stuart. Well, at this stage of the season, Derek, the table starts to reflect the true quality of the teams and I have to say, they've been excellent so far. Let's hope they're at their best today. Now, potential danger. Real chance. Able to close down the shot. Essien. Cole. Lampard. Michael Essien. On to Cole. Marcel Desai. Makalele. On to James. At times they make passing look easy. 
Hessian. Desai has it. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Shevchenko, superb block. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Jairzinho. Jairzinho. Dinho. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Chelsea taking on Leicester City. Makaleli. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Cole. Desai has it. And a poor ball. And a goal to fill you in on in the Brighton game. Details come from Alex Scott. And it's a goal for Newcastle United. They've scored the opener here with 32 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Koulibaly. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball. But unless they start passing it with more penetration, they'll struggle to win this game, which will be a major disappointment. And flag raised, offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Out of play for what will be a Chelsea throw. Michael Essien. Cole. Well, an attempt to forget all about, unfortunately. Yeah, got it all wrong. Trying to pass it into the corner. Opened up his body, but didn't make the right sort of contact. The referee blows for a foul. Well, in fairness, it wasn't the best of headers. Desai. On to James. Marcel Desai. Ashley Cole. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Lampard. Trying his luck from long range. Rhys James. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. Well, truth be told, his influence on this game has been very limited. What have you made of his performance, Stuart? Well, I've been disappointed with him so far. He just hasn't worked hard enough to receive the ball. And as a result, he's hardly had a shot on target. So back underway here into the second half. Right, Alex, it's over to you because I understand there's been a goal at the Amex Stadium. Yep, another goal for Newcastle United. They're ahead by two now with 46 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. He must finish. And it goes. The opening goal in this contest. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal.
And back underway, 1-0 it is. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV, and looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. And the penalty has been given here. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. Time for a change then. Chance to even things up here. And the keeper denies them from the spot. Lampard. Cole. Here's Essien. Koulibaly. Frank Lampard. And the ball with Shevchenko. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. And that'll be a Chelsea ball. And they're making a change. Chance to cross. Essien. Oh, he fancies his chances. And no way through. Opportunity. Oh, he saved it well. Yeah. Corner kick played in. Not out of the woods yet. Oh, a tremendous block. Michael Essien. Shevchenko. Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. And a change to the scoreline at the Emirates. Let's join Alex Scott. It's a goal for Arsenal. It was a breathtaking finish. A shot from such a long way out. I think it totally surprised the goalkeeper. They're pulled ahead by two with 68 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Shevchenko! An intercepted there. Can he do it from miles out? And no problems at all for the keeper. Well, Chelsea have controlled the last 15 minutes and their attacking play has been excellent. Surely only a matter of time before they extend their lead here. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. That they look as though they want to make this move count. Cole. Now with Essien. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Short corner taken. Johan Cruyff! In it goes! To increase their advantage! And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here it is again, and you have to say it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. 
2-0 now and back on the way goalkeeper's ball every day of the week so almost at full time and the home side very much in command Stuart what have you made of their overall performance oh Derek this is a big moment here well, didn't seem to be too much in that offside decision And a timely intervention. Lamar. Aston Villa will get the throw in. Lamar. And when you take the throw in, you're not then supposed to get caught offside. Well, that's ridiculous. That should never happen. And you need your defender to take charge. In with a chance. Terrific save. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. Let's see about the delivery. Well, no problems defensively. And that is that. The referee brings this match to an end and Chelsea get the three points. What did you make of their performance as a whole? Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield and they created chances as well. It's a great performance. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer and Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is. Hi, sorry, can we just grab a moment of your time? Thank you for your time.
Hello, a warm welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us today to the Midlands. We're here at the King Power Stadium. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Leicester City taking on Chelsea. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And the lineup for Leicester City. Yuri Tielemans plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the engine room. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Well, 4 4 2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. And now they get the ball rolling. Ashley Cole. Here's Essien. Lampard. Effective challenge. So let's have a look at the table and the chances there for the visitors to go top if they can win. Well, at this stage of the season, Derek, the table starts to reflect the true quality of the teams. And I have to say, they've been excellent so far. Let's hope they're at their best today. And the penalty has been given here. Can he make it 1-0? A goal! Calmly taken spot kick. Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Frank Lampard. He has teammates around him. Drogba. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. to extend the lead here. In it goes, Coley converted.
Well, here we can see it again, and it's a good penalty, you have to say. Straight down the middle, keeper's committed, and all he can do is watch it sail in. Cool as you like. So, 2-0 now. A reminder that foul and abusive language will not be tolerated in the Drop stadium. Up. Thank you. Must be! Well, he so badly wants that hat-trick, Stuart. Well, that was the chance for the hat-trick, but the way he's playing, he's surely going to get it today. Well, Gary Lineker, born to score goals, I think it's fair to say. What do you expect we'll see from him in this one, Stuart? Well, he's been in fine form in the league. Oh, the chance is on, Stuart! Might be dangerous. Makelele. And keeping it out. And over comes the corner. And the keeper left us in no doubt that that was always going to be his ball. And Alex Scott has news to bring us from the London Stadium. Alex. It's a goal for West Ham. They've scored the opener here with 25 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Indeed, perhaps they can cash in again. Let's see. Essien. Essien. Here's Essien. And the pass was off target. It'll be a throw. Drogba. Well, trying to place that one. Didn't get it quite right, though. They've regained possession. Moving it forward. Could play it in. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. Oh, big opportunity. And a goal to seal the hat-trick. A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So the action underway again, and it's turning into a trouncing with Chelsea holding all the aces. And foul it is then. And going short with it. Madison. And oh, I ran. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So back underway at 3-1. Fine sequence of passes. Well, three minutes of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Lampard! Well, it wasn't quite the quality of shot that we were all anticipating. Indeedy. 
And so we've reached the halfway mark here in the East Midlands. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. He's really dominating an attack in this game, Stuart. Well, the keeper will be sick at the sight of him. He's been shooting from everywhere and he's taken his goals really well. And off and running again. There was a real golf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from Leicester in the second? Makelele. Now with Essien. Lampard. Can he put it in? In it goes! But it will not stand. Offside, Stuart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. Claude Makalele. Now with Carvalho. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Leicester City facing Arsenal. And what a game that will be. Two good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. Well, how close was that? Inches away. Well, I have to say, Chelsea have been a joy to watch today. Just look at those stats. They've been in complete control of this game. All Brighton. Lineker with it. And an effective clearance. Tielemans. And a textbook interception. And into the last 30 minutes now. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Chelsea facing Southampton. Zola. On to Makalele. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Makalele. Makalele. Well, nowhere close to the goal. <laughs> And all was said and done. Well, from that sort of position, you should really be testing the goalkeeper. Has to hit the target. It's not a good attempt. Twenty minutes remaining. Makalele, and now Shevchenko, is this the moment, and a goal, they're running riot here, almost out of sight. Well it's lovely technique as you can see, he just wraps his foot around the ball and bends it beyond the keeper, that's a good goal.
Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. And that puts them in position. Just can't get it past him. And over comes the corner. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Tremendous block. Timely intervention. Well, let's send it over to Alex, because I understand there's been a goal at Selhurst Park. It's a third goal for Leeds United. Now jumping in, because this is a chance. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Makaleli. Well, apologies to our viewers for having to interrupt Alex just then. Just to confirm, Leeds United have scored in that match, and their advantage stands at 3 2 presently. Gary Lineker. And it's a quality pass. And taking it away. Gary Lineker! And a fine stop. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Played over. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Emmanuel Petit. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Lampard, might be a chance here. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, as you can see, they finished this really easily. They don't give the keeper a chance, do they? That's a good goal. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. And that is that. The referee brings this match to an end and Chelsea get the three points. What did you make of their performance as a whole? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Hi, can you chat to us for a second about the match? Thank you for your time.